Pakistan's prime minister is struggling to keep his government together after the second largest political party in the ruling coalition said it would join the opposition. We took the decision to sit in on the opposition benches in the Senate and the National Assembly. The party known as MQM says the Pakistan People's Party announcement that it would increase gas and heating oil prices was the last straw. Nothing over the past three years has been done by the People's Party to uh, uh, to improve the economy of the country. There's rampant corruption. There is mismanagement. Without the MQM, the Prime Minister's party does not have enough seats to control Parliament. Opposition parties could sponsor a no-confidence vote in Yusuf Razi Gilani. If passed by a majority of lawmakers, it would remove Gilani from office and possibly trigger early elections. unprecedented in the history of Pakistan. Galani says he believes the MQM's defection is unprecedented in the history of Pakistan. He says he's been getting unanimous support without a majority of parliament. Galani has been scrambling to meet with the leaders of other opposition parties. The turmoil comes as the U.S. is pushing Pakistan to do more to turn around the war in neighboring Afghanistan. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.